What is medical nutrition therapy and what does a pharmacist need to know about it? Find out next. Hi, I'm Blair Telemeyer, and I work with pharmacists who want to build and grow their clinical consulting-based businesses. Today, I want to talk to you about a program called Medical Nutrition Therapy. Medical Nutrition Therapy, or MNT, is a service covered by Medicare Part D that must be provided by a registered dietitian or a nutrition professional. So a pharmacist without an additional nutrition professional license would not qualify for being able to offer medical nutrition therapy. Like diabetic self-management training, medical nutrition therapy requires an order to be provided from the doctor for the patient. So it does require a referral to the professional. The codes we generally use for medical nutrition therapy are 97802 through 97804. These codes can be provided individually or in a group setting providing medical nutrition therapy services. And if your patient's in a rural area, they may be eligible to provide the services through a telehealth platform. Generally, what a medical nutrition therapy service visit looks like is the initial visit is a nutrition and lifestyle assessment, then follow-up uh, can be individual and or group nutrition therapy services, and then follow-up checks to see how the patient is managing their diet. There's also G-codes, G0270 and G0271 that covers medical nutrition therapy reassessment and interventions for a change in diagnosis. Patients who are undergoing dialysis in a dialysis facility are automatically eligible for medical nutrition therapy. And Medicare covers 100% of the cost for patients with diabetes and chronic kidney disease. So how can a clinical pharmacist bill for these services? Well, unless you happen to have a registered dietitian license or are a nutrition professional, you can't bill for these services. However, you can partner with a collaborative nutrition professional to offer medical nutrition therapy, especially in combination with a diabetic self-management training program. So medical nutrition therapy and DSMT are not synonymous. They are different. So the focus of DSMT is more on medication, group training, and lifestyle changes. Whereas medical nutrition therapy is focused specifically on the individual's nutrition. DSMT also requires a curriculum that is generally 10 hours per year for a newly diagnosed diabetic and two hours per year thereafter. Medical nutrition therapy does not have the same hourly billing requirements as DSMT. Sometimes it may be helpful for patients to utilize DSMT first and then receive medical nutrition therapy afterwards. And sometimes it may make more sense for them to get it together. Either way, creating a referral source that keeps you in a constant stream of patients who need DSMT and medical nutrition therapy services and finding a collaborative partner such as a clinic or a health and wellness program that have registered dietitians on staff that can offer the medical nutrition therapy services can really help take your diabetic education services to the next level. So if you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and sharing this video with a colleague. And if you'd like more information about billing for pharmacist-led clinical services, you can join the Pharmapreneur community newsletter at btpharmacyconsulting.com forward slash newsletter.